Hello, you all techies out there. Would like to welcome you all on my YouTube channel, White High Security. Here on this channel, we focus on real technical configuration related to cloud, cloud security, network security, and, and many more technical topics. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started with our topics for today. And yeah, I would like to thank you in advance for watching. Hello everyone. So we are continuing uh, to connect uh, more data connectors. In this video, we are focusing on Office 365 data connectors. So on the list, we have Defender for Cloud Apps, Defender for Identity, Office 365, and at the last, you can see Microsoft 365 Defender data connector. So basically, I mean, uh, if I talk about this Microsoft 365 Defender data connector, this is a combined data connector for all of the Defender products from Microsoft. Like this also contains Defender for Cloud Apps and Defender for Identity. But what I have done here, I will showcase you how to connect these two individually and how you can connect you know these two as an individual uh, connector like uh, microsoft 365 defender case so yeah let's get started uh, with defender for cloud apps so here this is my microsoft sentinel portal as you all already know i will again go to data connectors and i will search for defender for cloud apps cloud apps this is my defender for cloud apps i will go on connector page by clicking on open connector page so before we can apply changes here as you can see here in microsoft defender for cloud as portal under setting select security extension and then same so there are some settings which you need to enable first on defender for cloud apps portal after that, you can come back here and apply your changes in terms of Azure Sentinel portal. So let's go to Cloud App uh, portal and you know apply these changes. Like what are the changes we need to done on that particular portal? So here you can see this is Microsoft 365 Defender portal, and this basically right now contains every uh, uh, security portal. You can say like there is Cloud Apps, and again if I go to more resources. And if I show you, it contains Active Directory, Identity Protection, Information Protection, Security Center, Office 365 and Compliance. So the, basically, this is the uh, portal where you have everything. Uh, before, these were individual portals, but not anymore. So right now, if you want to go to Cloud Apps, you can go here and check your alerts from this particular place. Like you can check all of your 365 logs from this particular portal, security.microsoft.com. So like I said, I mean, this is a one place to go for everything. So if I want to go to set, uh, go to the settings of cloud apps, I will go to settings and I will go to cloud apps. So here I can see all the settings related to cloud apps. So basically what we need to do, if we want to integrate uh, Cloud Apps with Microsoft Sentinel, we need to go to Settings, Cloud App Setting, and then we need to go to SIM Agents under System, and we need to click on this Add SIM Agent, and we need to choose Azure Sentinel. When we will click on Azure Sentinel, you will see there is a dialog box which is coming, Configure Azure Sentinel Integration. So I want to see alerts for you know every alerts and every discovery logs and all that stuff, all stream. I will hit Next. And in a moment, it should be completed. So you can see you have finished configuring the Azure Sentinel integration. Congratulations. Go to Azure Sentinel to finalize the integration. So now I will go to the Sentinel portal and I will finalize or do the next step on this configuration. So I can select alert cloud discovery like I did uh, on that cloud apps portal. I can hit apply changes. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. It should be completed. You can see successfully applied changes. And similarly, I will enable this to see the incident on Microsoft Sentinel. And already you can see the green mark is coming here. So it indicates that this one is kind of a completed now. Okay, so this is the way how we connect uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps to Microsoft Sentinel. And this is the portal where we need to go to do initial settings on the, on the uh, same agent side on, on Cloud Apps. So yeah, this one is completed. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is Defender for Identity. Let me search it. I 
identity so here we have microsoft defender for identity i will go to the open connector page on to this connector page of this particular data connector and let's see what are the settings we have here so here in order to integrate microsoft defender for identity alerts, alerts use global administrator security administrator which we already have and this one yes i have connected microsoft defender for identity to microsoft defender for cloud apps so yeah, i will hit uh, connect similarly it should be up in a moment as well like you can see connected successfully and i hit enable for incident creation like as for the other data connectors so yeah, uh, microsoft incident rule uh, rule already created and added successfully so yeah this is uh, kind of completed for this one as well as you can see the green check marks is also available now and yeah this is the process to connect microsoft defender for identity now now let's move on to office 365 now office 365 i have it here similarly i will go to open connector page and connect this one as well So here you can see uh, what kind of a logs you want to see. So I want all of them, Exchange, SharePoint, Teams. I will hit Apply Changes. And yeah, it should be uh, successful in a moment. Like you can see, successfully applied changes. And here is your green mark. So yeah, these are the simple steps to, again, integrate with uh, Office 365 data connectors in Microsoft Center. So again, you can see the green check mark here as well. So yeah, that's also connected now. Let's move on to our next data connector from Microsoft 365 Defender. So as I explained earlier, uh, it's in preview at, at the moment. So the idea behind this particular data connector is let me show you, just let it load up. To basically have all these data connectors in a single place. So as you can see, there is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Office 365. This is uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud of which we just now connected, Identity which we just now connected. So the idea is to you know get everything on a single data connectors or on a single place. So I just wanted to show you by connecting this particular one, Defender for uh, Endpoint uh, with this particular data connector. So we can see that how we can connect individually and how we can connect, you know, at once all of them but yeah i would not recommend to use this one as of the moment because it's in preview and it's fairly you know uh, like testing and all that stuff is going on but yeah for for our understanding let's see how we can do it all together so similarly we don't have to do anything just we need to click on uh, all of these uh, categories of logs and all that stuff and simply go down and apply changes here and it should go ahead and deploy this one and you know uh, after validation uh, validation it should save this one so you can see successfully updated microsoft defender for endpoint events so now why microsoft defender for endpoint is also connected and in a moment it will be like green so yeah, that's it for this video i hope this has been informative to you and i would like to see you on the next one thank you and if, and if, and if, and if,